Welcome to Abundant Life. Today on the homestead, we're going to be playing in the dirt, playing with a purpose, though. Um, around this area, we have a lot of clay in the ground, and which normally is not a big deal, but when you garden, that clay gets packed down under your topsoil, gets to where it's almost impenetrable by water and hard to get through with roots. It's uh, called a hard pan. But this field behind us here, I haven't planted this in oh, three or four years, but uh, the other day Gobby came up to me and he's like, Dad, I, I, I want to plant some corn this year. I was like, you mean you want to plant some corn or you want me to do it? He's like, well, I, I want to plant some corn, but uh, I'm like, okay. So I, we made an agreement, I'll, I'll get everything ready, and if he does most work, we're going to have some sweet corn this year. And that's great because it gives me a, uh, yet another teaching opportunity with my son. I'm going to teach him how we used to grow Porter's sweet corn and all the ins and outs of why we have the best sweet corn. I'm not biased or anything. So anyway... I already ran this this plot twice a couple weeks ago, <clears throat> just getting it ready. And you may or may not be able to see, it, it, it's been rained on a couple times, but there's still a lot of broken dirt around, still a lot of clumps of clay that the cultivators ripped up, and even a lot of, uh, a lot of this stuff right here is real slick. That's just pure clay from about 16 inches down in where this, this has dug it up. We're going to dig all that up, and then we're going to mix it in real good. I know it uh, doesn't sound conducive to gardening to mix clay into your topsoil, but considering the alternative, I think I prefer to have a little better drainage and a little deeper area that the, uh, that the roots of the plants can grow. But I didn't quite get as deep as I wanted to with the first two passes, so after letting it sit, we're going to do it again today. I use this cultivator that I picked up at Rural King. It is just about too big for my little tractor. It's about, uh, about as wide as she can handle. <coughs> Say the, uh, the typical solution is to use a subsoiler, which is a single chisel that goes down into the ground, and then you just kind of rip a grid, and instead of bringing all the clay up, you're just making areas where, where more water and better roots can take get in. But I don't have a subsoiler, and as low as this hangs to the ground when it's all the way up, and as low as it gets when it's all the way down, I don't think I could get any deeper with a subsoiler. So this cultivator with these wide sweeps is what we're going to use. And we'll get into that footage here. We'll get her done. I'm going to uh, fire up the tractor, adjust my top link, and get ready to go. Thanks for watching. That's about right where I want it. <clears throat> okay, well everybody, this is my brother Jamie. You've already met my kids, and I guess you might as well meet some rest of the family member. Jamie is my oldest brother. He, uh, he shows up randomly, and uh, 
I either put him to work or he watches me work, but we do really enjoy having him around. He's going to do a little bit of the tractor work today, get some get some experience with that. So uh, you'll see him, and, and I'll be watching him work, and so will you. All right, let's get it done. I'll grab that handheld. Yeah, that kind of surprised me. These uh, hmm, these mulberry trees back here. You know, the edge of the tree is here, 20 yards away. They're still putting roots that big, for, that much further out of the canopy. No wonder they spread, you know, they spread through the roots anyway. I just never really seen them come that, that far out.
I'm, I don't, I can't sing anymore. I'm old. to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son to win. His daring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin. Oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure. The saints and angels sweet song.
can come over here a little bit away from the tractor. Um, I, I got it as far as where I know all the thick roots are. You will get hung up on the roots. You will not get as as low as you want in the roots, but that just happens. Just pick it up a little. Well, try not to unless you have to. Okay. okay. Two big things. Uh, I run I run it in a split, so the edge of the last row, the center of the tractor is going right over, and a lot of that these these outside tines won't go as deep as the inside tines unless those inside tines are really buried. It's in four-wheel drive, take off in low, go at kind of a crawl speed. If it starts to get caught up, don't hammer it. I actually did, I did that once on the way in, but it was on those roots. I knew what I was on. Don't hammer it, kind of feather the pedal and try to crawl through it. Because I've worked this plot for years, unless something new has come up, there's no boulders in here. If you're getting caught, it's because you're peeling that clay. So just kind of take it easy, feather the pedal till you get through it, and then... You might go five or six feet, and then you'll get bogged down a bit again. Uh, but uh, and then if you just really, really get too so far bogged down that you can't get out of it, just pop your sweeps up a little bit, try to start rolling forward. And also on the tractor here, you haven't done much with the implements on this. Okay, pulling it back raises it. Right. Forward drops it. But like there, yeah. that's drop position. There, there's a detent there you can feel when you move it forward. That's where it floats. Uh, That'll help you, especially like if we do run into a boulder or something, it'll help it get back over it. Uh, it does prevent it from getting quite as deep as you want it to and, until you've really dug in there. This isn't, let me get away from the tractor again. It isn't digging as deep as I thought it would today, but with as much as those sweeps are catching in that clay, it's obviously doing its job. I don't think I'll be able to get to where I'm a complete flat on it before it's time to plant corn. That it, it is what it is. We've, we've dug deep, we, we've cut more of that pan this year than we have when the year started, so. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get the camera, I'll come up behind you a little bit, I'll get beside you a little bit, just get, See if we can actually get some good, good yeah, I was shots. Your little tripod. Yeah, know. that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk around with a little tripod. I didn't know if it would sit right there and angle down, or if it would drop out. Yeah, uh, it would probably fall off, and then we'd plow it under. <laughs> that would be my luck. Even as, as secure as it seemed, when we went to take off, it would drop, and I would plow it under. I can't tell you how many coffee cups I've plowed under like that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that. I'm going to grab the little handheld, get it changed over, and then I'll follow you around through the field a little bit. And then if you decide you're done, you don't want to do any more, well, I'll just shut her down and I'll, I'll jump on and finish it. I'll be watching him work, and so will you. All right, let's get it done. I'll grab that handheld. Yeah, yeah. That's why I wear like $3 sunglasses. Talk about plowing under cotton. Cups. I've done many. I've also plowed under several pairs of sunglasses. It just, it just happens. If you're just idling, you just bring it down till you feel that stop, and that's where you leave it. But when you're doing it, full throttle. And make sure you lift your tines before you take off. Right, right when your last times are at the edge, that's when you want to drop it. Uh, Just push it forward, leave it forward.
Well, um, there's a close feather. Do they have rabies? No, you can have the feather. Gideon, no. That's a root from mulberry trees over there. Go ahead and go forward, Jamie. Yeah, pull that up a little bit and go forward or you won't get out of that one. That's the line where the roots are. Yeah, you're on a fresh root, I can see it. Yeah, that's a feather from one of the crows. It was laying right out here for us this morning. I don't, I can't sing anymore. I'm old.
to the lowest hell. Thou guilty pair, bow down with care. God gave his son to win. His daring child, he reconciled and pardoned from his sin. Oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure. The saints and angels sweet song. I don't, I can't sing anymore. I'm old. 